see the, the recording has started. So, as usual, you know, Monday is a day where we start a week just by sharing how the previous one went. But also, you know, that every time you have a presentation, the most led by Yabeba. I guess Yabeba has already joined. But before we, all, we start, as usual, we start by any announcements from the team. So the one I have now is that we have already shared with you the, the week seven challenge document. If you don't have it, please let us know. But we hope that everyone has received it and you have started playing with it. I mean, going through it. Uh, any other announcement from Ken Academy? Yeah, uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the week seven. So, uh, morning. I've texted some people uh, in inbox on Slack. Please check, like, if you receive my message, just reply. Thank you. All right, thanks, Amelia. Please let others know that we have, we have started so they can join us. Uh, otherwise, I can give the floor to Yabeba. So. Thanks, morning, Yabeba. Morning, 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 everyone. Um, great. So, you know, every week is different, and this week is also different. Um, hopefully, that last week you attempted something that you probably have only heard about, but never had any chance to look into, and now you can explain it to people what all this new technology or if not technology new kind of way of paradigm uh, of internet of communication uh, or it development so as usual would well, it start if there is any feedback or if there's any uh, elements that you notice that you would like to improve like think of it as this one is the monday we use it for one for me and for us the team to learn about you know who is where and uh, so that we try to understand like whether you are job ready you know how much should we accelerate it's like more should we press the pedal more and of course we want to make it more individualized that means um it's not going to be like okay so there are some things that we would cover for everyone as just one but then if there are some people who needs also some support we'll try to be able to at least within the capacity that we have to try to provide that so it's a learning platform for us to know how are you perceiving your work you know how are you uh, strategizing how are you doing it you know how far did you come what is the mentality and the mindset that you are developing is this some kind of fitting with the kind of expectation that we have? And then for you, as, as a kind of mock employers, you are explaining to us in very short time, like what you have done. And that's usually what employers would do. Like they would ask you, like, you know, tell me in three minutes, you know, that work, the work that you are um, proud of. And you have to be able to really compress and, and select um, in very short time without even being prepared sometimes to, to tell the story. So for you, it's a more practice. So that's why I think those people who have been practicing and, and giving that talk have been thinking about, they are in advantage um, position for actually passing interviews. So that's why I'm diversifying. And every, every day that I'm asking people who haven't given before or who have only talked once, you know, that you should really raise your hand um, to be able to talk, to explain even the, the, whatever you try to do. Right, whatever you didn't understand, whatever you understood, okay, and and then before we start, we also look in the spirit sprint sense because we are a weak sprint, right? It's like in a job cycle, we would be the one doing a weekly sprint, and every day there is a tutorial, you know, it's kind of the stand up. But in that, uh, in this, in the sprint or agile framework of like this uh, sprint framework, what you have is that you have to identify. Um, one a process that is that needs to be improved or that if it is improved it is better like so for the next one so what i am asking now just in the next you know two three minutes is that what are the processes that could be improved or that are working good that it is you know 
uh, you are happy about it so you either mention one from each or you know uh, one from one of you know one of them so it's like something that's working for you something that it's not working for you and if it's changed it would you think that it would help you know if the question is not clear you can also ask a question about the question okay Mohammed, is it anything related to the feedback or is it related to giving presentation if so then in three minutes i'll get back to you uh you were you were talking to me sorry uh you were talking to me or, or uh my internet yeah, yeah like off. yes i'm yes. i was i'm saying are you do you want to give presentation or do you want to give feedback yes i, I want to give both Okay, then start from the uh, feedback. feedback now, and uh, okay. I will, okay. yeah. Okay, so uh, my feedback is uh, the, the, the weekly challenge document this week is, is well written, and uh, I want to emphasize um, in the destruction, uh, the section of the workflow for this week challenge uh, as fellows. So uh, those steps uh, is really helpful so that uh, it will organize me mentally and how uh, I could approach every task and how my week, my uh, weekly process will go. And uh, I hope this uh, will go uh, for a couple of weeks before we start realizing uh, that we this is the process that we will be uh, following in, in our future career and so on. So basically that was my feedback. Yeah. Great. So basically the feedback is a process which is a clear organization of the tasks for this week and you want those things to continue and improve. Great. Yes. Okay. Anyone else want to identify? You know, it is not, it's, it's for me, it will help us, but it's also for you, it will help you in terms of those people who are keen to identify processes, they're really good at job. That means people like them because they improve the quality of life in the teams that they build. So it's a ad hoc questions. I know I'm asking you, you know, but this is this is just like a job type of environment. So feel free to think like, you know, what was working for me? What was not working for me? What where did I get happy? Where did I get happy? Kind of, you know, think that kind of active thinking um, when you go to meetings because that's that's what would what defines you in an online meeting. Uh, Nothing. Uh, okay, uh, I just have uh, a few suggestions, I guess. Uh, okay. First of all, like I like the structure of the, all the documents and and also the links. And also, I want to thank like the support of the Zen Academy team and also the support of my fellow trainees. But uh, I just have one suggestion: like uh, we only had like I think this week's project is uh, a group one, and uh, I think it's on week two we have uh, another group one. Uh, I think it's better to learn like the collaboration part and also the team spirit part. I think it's better we, if we had like three or four group group challenges, yeah. like more group challenges. I just want to have, emphasize on that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, we will have. Um, we are also in discussion if next week could be the continuation of this work, but uh, and also and so that also you would use the same tools and the same group work environment, but just slightly. Uh, changing the content so one you will build exactly for the language aspect another one would be for um, trading online trading crypto trading in this case um, but applying exactly the same techniques so we are in in discussion with that it would be a con yeah it would be hopefully a continuation of reusing also not only um the group works but also the the ability to to learn more about some important tools kafka is by i hope that you will learn a lot about kafka and especially you don't need kafka type 
for larger environments, like for smaller environments. But when you are building things that require multiple concurrent connection um, and you want to orchestrate that thing in terms of like this, you know, when you don't have resources, you want to, let's say, the amount of computation in one area is a lot, for example, the back end, but the front end, you have a lot of users who kind of easily request some things. Usually you need to be able to, to not lose any request is in that kind of environment, but that is almost always is used in different scenarios. Uh, it's called publish and subscribe and publish um, model. So definitely we will, uh, good, good, uh, you observe that. And we, we also encourage absolutely that. Okay. Uh, Nat Nael said, Michael. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, thank you, everyone. And hello and good morning, everyone. Uh, my uh, 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 first of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, all of the Teen Academy teams for preparing such a great curriculum, and uh, it's been a a good experience and it can carve out some uh, good uh, abilities out of someone uh, so but uh, i just want to uh, I, I just want you to emphasize on the tutorializations so that i think the tutorializations are meant to be programmed for one hour uh, am i right uh, yes 45 minutes yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, 45 or one hour, yeah. So uh, sometimes uh, we, we trainees we would have some uh, questions and uh, the questions may, 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 may vary and may want some uh, very uh, long explanations or some discussions between us. So uh, it will take some time from the tutorial sessions and to mitigate this, you maybe uh, uh, could you try to improve the time for uh, one hour and 30 or one hour and 15? Mm. It's better to try. Okay, so maybe um, Everest, can you take note of that and we can raise that issue um, and see if we can improve? I mean, I like, I like in the tutorials questions, uh, very much question-driven tutorials um, because I think you know, yeah, the, yeah. every place yeah. has to be like that, uh, especially at work environment. So, yeah, maybe the timing um, we can. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, to get uh, yeah, the, uh, it was intended to get more room for questions and answers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Awesome. And and Gannett, is is your hand for feedback as well or for presentation? Yes. For feedback. Good morning. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you so much for the whole uh, uh, things you provided. Um, my uh, feedback is uh, the last week uh, uh, session or challenge in the challenge, the tutorial part is a very good way, which is very organized and it touches every part of what we are going to uh, do. And that is great, and I like that. And uh, the other is the guest uh, talk, which was from Algorand. That is also uh, very fantastic. And uh, if we we have such kinds of things for the future, is also uh, great. The other comment is maybe for the trainees. The resource part is uh, a, a very uh, uh, everybody is uh, w without searching or looking the resource which is already uploaded. The, everyone is uploaded. I don't know, maybe for the, it, it has some grades. I don't know if that is not happened. If we, before we are loading the resource, uh, we, if we check whether that resource is already available or not. I think if we monitor as it in academy, that is also a good way. That's my feedback. Thank you so much. So, so you mean a repeated uh, yes. resource sharing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, repeated resource sharing. If you want to use that resource, it is already two, three, four ways. Is a different person is uploaded that. But okay. if I want to upload that, I should check 
ways are that resources available or not. If that mm -hmm. is the way, I think it's better yeah. uh, to use the resources once. If it is a resource, it is for usability of those others to share the resource for others. If that is the case, it is not necessary to have one or more, three or four links, the same resource by different person is good. Yeah, it, so it, it makes a redundancy. It is a good comment and we, you know, we have been building as well a way to harness all this knowledge map like that is in in Slack to be able to, and we could create a bot saying, I mean, the trainees, they should share whatever they like. That's good, like, because it encourages sharing, but we could label, okay, this one is, you know, also already pre-shared or also build uh, um, kind of, a channel that you can find all the unique sources um, that are shared, uh, something like that. And in Ten Academy, in Ten, in the Tenx platform as well, we there is one plan uh, for core learn, which is much more. Even from your browser, you can just share, and everybody can can see. So that's going to be good suggestion. Again, if Everest, if you can take just that note, just out of it's not going to be an immediate short term solution, but um, we can. We can keep um we can keep yeah we can keep the feedback great i think now i will just directly go to the presentations so it's three minutes michael do you have yeah i i want to add to uh, some more uh, to the uh way in which uh, we learn. so uh i think uh, I have an experience in some bootcamp earlier uh, this year, and uh, that bootcamp has uh, some uh, platforms that says uh, they which is dedicated for some peer learning exercises. There will uh, be no uh, tutor, uh, tutors or uh, some uh, uh, grading persons there, but the tutors will talk each other about what's uh, ever happening is uh, on, the, uh, on the training and can share different ideas. So uh, I would like to suggest at least having one peer learning day in a week is uh, maybe better for uh, the future. So one, one peer learning in terms of means like another peer providing some kind of feedback on no. the work? It's just uh, we, uh, we trainees, uh, only we trainees participate in this uh, type of meeting and we share different ideas and comment each other. So okay. That's what I'm yeah. Okay, I'm sure Everest is taking a note and we can discuss and get back to you. Okay, wonderful. So now is presentations, three minutes, uh, please especially those people last week you said you would talk this week um do so if you haven't talked before please raise your hand early uh, but i will start with from muhammad and then others also raise your hand so okay uh, can i share my screen yes you do. Can you see my screen? Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, so this week, a project was based on Web3 decentralized apps, and um, uh, we 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 uh, we have been prompted to build an end-to-end Web3 decentralized app in the Algorand on top of the Algorand uh, blockchain. Uh, this project uh, will help uh, Ten Academy to generate uh, an NFT uh, tokens as uh, a certificates for uh, the trainees, and it allows the trainees uh, with those NFTs and those certificates to interact with a smart contract with uh, Ten Academy. So, uh, what technologies are used? I use Algorand, React for the front end. I use fast ABI for the back end, Docker for initializing the sandbox where I'm working and interacting with the Algorand blockchain, and Algorand uh, Python SDK uh, for integrating it uh, 
with the fast AI. So in terms of implementation, I find the sandbox and uh, create uh, some uh, addresses and accounts in the Algorand blockchain. Uh, also, I have in I have performed some transactions, uh, as you can see from uh, the account balance was uh, one one million micro algos, and the other one was uh, zero. So when I'm uh, when I uh, perform the transaction, it decreased uh, the balance. Uh, the second uh, application I did in the on top of Algorand blockchain is uh, initializing an uh, an asset for a specific uh, student. Uh, I spe I specified some parameters like uh, the student, uh, the address, and the notes that I will be uh, sharing with the student. So uh, lastly, uh, we have I have to perform uh, a front end uh, user interface uh, for the end users to interact with the Algorand blockchain uh, easily. So uh, this is uh, this was uh, my front end uh, application. I used React for that. So the barrier for me was initializing the sandbox. Um, actually, before that, uh, set up uh, the Linux, uh, and then initializing initializing the sandbox. Uh, third and fourth was uh, building in front and in back end with the React and Fast API respectively, because I have no prior uh, experience with that. And what I learned. Uh, with three important technologies uh, in terms like wallet, addresses, and keys, Algorand blockchain, how to interact with the Algorand, front end and back end like React and the fast API, and finally build a robust foundation in Web3 industry. Thank you. Excellent. Really on time. That's beautiful. Um, so well done. Thank you. Okay. Uh, not now. And, and others, if you haven't spoken, you know, more in the past weeks, please do raise your hand. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's not about a finished product you we expect you to present. It's to tell the story, your story of last week, you know, but in three minutes. Um, uh, so, yes, it go on. yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I, I'll try to demonstrate what I've done. Uh, I have a few accounts uh, that I have on added on the algo signer. So I will use, let's say, for example, if this one, this uh, the account has, the address has an admin access. So this was, this is the admin page. So you can create an asset here. So after, And after that, uh, it will be uploaded to the distributed file system, and then it will take, uh, I think, a while, uh, just a few seconds. And after that, yeah, you can see the asset URL uploaded to Pinata. And after I sign it, and I will save the. the the, it will take some time to wait for the transaction to be confirmed and completed and uh, the access to the asset will be created and after that i can see the, the asset and I, uh, here i have the ipfs url so here is the link that was added to the ipfs one so if you if you have a request to for example let's say the trainee had created a request to the assets to be created and he, he, the same will be process. The same process will take place. And let me demonstrate the training one. And that the 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 asset will be here for that particular training. And he, he can opt in like using some note. And after it's signed.
and this will take some time to uh, actually for the transaction to be confirmed. So, for example, if I come back in, the assets is already opted, so he can not opt in again. And the other part, I think, yeah, I've used like Django for the backing for access for uh, getting the user accounts and also just trying to facilitate the, uh, all the to keep track of the accounts. Yeah, this is so far what I've done. Thank you. Excellent. Again, this is really on time. You guys are nailing it. Well done. So that means you are able to make the transaction as well as you are able to create opt-in, put the assets in a distributed system, file system. Uh, what is left? Uh, what is left? Uh, I think applying all the, replacing the Django backend with the uh somehow a robust blockchain, uh, a block, uh, smart contract. That is what's okay. left from this point. Good. Thanks. Uh, hi, let me uh, Hello, good morning. Hello. Morning. Sli yeah, we can hear you. Slightly faint, but it, we can hear you. Okay. Okay. Let me share my screen. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we do. Go on. Okay. Uh, our last week project was about uh, an init in uh, distributed app with Algorand. Uh, and uh, the tasks were first uh, to create a sandbox and API connections. And uh, second task was building a front end and back end. And third, the third task was NFT creation and smart contract. Mm. In this project, I used uh, technology like for front end, I used Next.js. Uh, it's like it's a modifier React. Uh, and I used Plask for a backend, uh, block, uh, Algorand for blockchain, and Algo Signer as a wallet. Uh, I used uh, some dependencies uh, like Axios for API calling to connect from the front end and the back end, uh, Bootstrap for styling, uh, SQL Lightning as uh, object relational mapping, and SQL Lite as a database. Uh, I used also JWT, JSON Web Token as authentication and authorization, and Algorand SDK for. Uh, the Algorand is the key for JavaScript to communicate with the Algorand. Uh, and my implementation is first in the database, I created two tables. Uh, the first table is, the, the, the first table uh, takes the user information and second table uses uh, the role. And this table is related with the first table. And uh, as in the backend, I build endpoints for login, logout and list of users. Uh, and uh, for in the front end, I created a registration form for which starting users, uh, login page for both the admin and the training. I used uh, one login page. Uh, I and the routing is based on roles, and there is also a connection with the wallet. And starting from this slide, uh, I'm going to show you the screenshots from the UI. Uh, my login page looking like this. Uh, the admin and the training inputs their username and password, and uh, they click login. And after the login, this is the admin page. Uh, the admin is already registered, so uh, it automatically routes. Uh, and it's in, the admin selects its account, uh, and uh, it gives the following information. and. Uh, when it collects sign, the uh, NFT will be created. So uh, when the NFT is clicked, uh, it will go to it connects to the algo signer, the wallet, and it asks for permission to sign. And after the sign, the NFT will be created. So uh, the created certificate on the wallet looks like this. 
Oh, this is also the login page for the training. Uh, the, the training part uh, is not completed, but uh, my, I, my, I was thinking of to build the training wheel, select uh, his, his account, and in the training selects the search button, which will get the search. Bits. That was my idea, and uh, that project is not completed. These are uh, you know, the future works. I will get back to these things after uh, the end of the training. First, I have to complete the training features, uh, and also I have to secure the authorization in the routing. Uh, I have to integrate smart contract, uh, and also I should refactor the code. I have to make some optimizations, and uh, I have to do also some styling. Uh, I want to acknowledge, uh, I'll, I'll to say thank you for Ten Academy team for their support, and also Nathaniel and Melissa and Gagaga will be uh, helping me to do this project. Uh, I want to say thank you for that. Yeah, so well, this is my work. Thank you very much. No. Yes, here, Michael, you done? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh... I don't know if... Uh, okay, so you can't hear me? Um, yeah, yeah, now I can hear you. We couldn't hear you. Uh, okay. Thank yeah, you. it's like my, my network seems to break. Um, okay, but thanks, Saila Mikhail. But as I said, it took you five minutes. I didn't want to stop you um, just because you were finishing, but then it still took five minutes. So in the future, try to reduce, kind of try to really think of the time. Because if I had stopped you, you would not, have said any most of the things that you want you know that that shines so make sure that you don't spend that much time um you know you spend really your three minutes you must ensure you show what what you have done or what you're proud of okay 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 thank you very okay. much national okay hi can you hear me Okay, let me just share my screen. Can you see it? Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, go on. Just start with okay. the timing. Uh, I've prepared the slides, but due to short period of time, uh, I'll go through just the demonstration. Uh, this is the front end of my app. Uh, I have two login pages. One is for the training, and the other one is for the trainer. Uh, from this browser, I have opened two browsers, by the way. One is Edge, and one is uh, Chrome. Uh, from the Chrome, I will log in as a trainer. Uh, this is my Algo Connect. Uh, uh, integration the, that is used as the authentication method. It's a wallet integration. So uh, from my Edge browser, let me sign in as a trainee. Uh, both the trainer and the trainee need uh, a wallet account in order to log in. So, This is the trainee dashboard, and this one is the trainer dashboard. So this project assumes that uh, the trainees are already registered to the system, either by importing from the Tenex platform or uh, either by another backend system. It's just the trainees are registered to this system. So I have 
one trainee, trainee XYZ, who is in a local natural research, and as you can see, the status is none. So what we will do here is create an asset for Natnail Masrisha. And when we create an asset, we'll need an authentication with the MyAlgo wallet. So we can see the details of the transaction or the asset we're doing. And then if you're okay with that, we'll go on and enter our password. Uh, it would take some time to upload to the APFS. I used Pinata. Uh, once the upload is complete, uh, the status will change to asset created and the action is waiting for opt-in. So by this time, I should receive an email of my asset ID from the 10x team. So uh, this is the asset ID created for me. So using this asset ID, I will request a transfer. By transfer, I mean uh, making an opt-in transaction with the amount of zero assets. So again, we'll insert the training password here. And as you can see, we can review the details of the transaction. The amount is zero, which means we're doing an opt-in transaction. And we click continue. So once the transaction completed, uh, it will reload the page and we can see the asset ID is requested and we're waiting for the approval. So from the admin side, if I just reload the page, we'll, uh, I can see the request here. I can approve or I can either approve or decline the request. If I decline it, uh, I will probably make the opt-in request again, but for this demo, let me just approve it. With each transaction, I can review the details of the transaction. Uh, that's just the feature of my Algo Connect wallet. And done. So the transfer is completed and from my Training side, I can now view my uh, status is transferred and I can view the certificate from the IPFS uh, file storage system. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Great. Um, again, you just took one more minute, but that was that was fast and full demonstration. So you you know, I I cannot. I would just basically start maybe logged in um, but it was good the demonstration but just for the sake of to reduce one minute I would have you probably could just start that logged in um, if you have just but excellent good um, what is left do you have like in 30 seconds like what would you yeah. like to work on uh, I've made use of uh, the MySQL database which is uh, obviously a web to request us between the database and the API. So I would like to get rid of that and make it fully web three in the future. Okay, great. Awesome. And do we have anyone else who's kind of, you know, I, sometimes it feels like only the people who completed something that they are talking, but it's not, you, you have to know that's not the point. And the point is, of course you are learning you know, we're co-learning together, like, you know, what could have been done. And if you had certain experience also before, what, you know, what would, what would you have achieved by in one week? I think that's a really a great demonstration. But at the same time, you should, some people should also talk about their own attempt that didn't succeed, you know, otherwise it gets biased only, and only some presentations that just work, you will be present. So I think, you know, try to be, to own, whatever you have spent time on. Um, and I know it doesn't sound good, like, cause usually you want to say good things only, but telling the story is very different from like success or failure or attempt. Um, so anyone who wants to tell the story, their story, their version, or a version that, okay, so, 
I know most people have spent a lot of time on the sandbox, even if at some point that was requested that you could just change to an API, a testnet. So can someone reflect? So what was I expecting as a, an employer uh, or as a kind of a mindset that I'm expecting at this week? I would expect someone doesn't sleep if by Tuesday, because we say it, if by Tuesday or Monday, they were unable to connect the sandbox. I would have shouted and say like, you know, like I can't sleep today without solving it. Because I know if it is especially Wednesday, then I must be like really feeling bad. Like it's, and I must find another solution. I must not attempt to connect with, with uh, sandbox um, because then I know I will not make it. So I think it's, it's really this meta learning about yourself is the most important thing. If you, you know, you have to present them, you have to deliver something by Wednesday and you haven't, you are not able to connect by Wednesday. And then you are okay with that. Even if like, let's say, okay means, you know, you could be feeling bad, whatever that doesn't matter. But if you are not really trying like to get a tutor, you know, on a call, do everything in your power to do it then you are, you are, you're not ready, like for me. Job ready is really that. It's like you have a task to do and you will not sleep until you get that job done, especially knowing that that's done, doable. You know, if it's not doable, you don't know. But that's why, why haven't you done that if you haven't done that? Can anyone reflect that? Because that's, that's a key measure of what distinguishes you or what we think what will distinguish a 10 Academy trainee versus anyone else. It is this ability learning, knowing what it takes to deliver. It is not by comfort that you deliver. It is by really commitment. And commitment doesn't come only just your version. Your version is like to do, to, to work hard. That's not sufficient. Sometimes it also requires that you really find a way to bypass the problem, to find another alternative solutions or to get people who have done it to just walk you through. Because ultimately, all you want to say is that, okay, I have tried this one and I'm, I, it's done, right? Or if it's not done, you really have a clear reason. And then you say like, okay, it's, I was not able to do that, but I've done this. You always, you are always done with something. So, and if you haven't done that, can you reflect why that was hard? Didn't you understand that version? Because it also will help, you know, it's almost every week is a new week, right? That's great. It's about learning about that and then overcoming those, those challenges. Can anyone reflect on that? So who was attempting, who was not able to succeed and then still was trying by Thursday or you know, Wednesday? Is there a reason? Am I, am I audible though? Just 10 Academy team, can you confirm? Yeah, so like... Okay. okay. I mean, if you don't want to stay, it's fine, but just know that that was the expectation and that's the expectation. It is towards that you are going towards from like doing your best to like almost always doing something. Um, because nobody, it's the best, you know, doing your best is very relative, right? But doing something is just very, very absolute. That means you are, you will be doing something and that's what a company or industry wants. It's not the individual bests that they want. And of course, that's great, but it's the really doing what is requested as well, what is required. And to, to get to that, it is that commitment. You know, if you accept the work that I will, I will do it, and then if you know that you have to deliver it by Wednesday and by Saturday, then you, you must know when it's not getting done. And it's like you would do everything in your power to at least do something. 
that is either that or an equivalent of it or an alternative of it okay so take that as as advice for this week and implement that because that would really give you a lot more it's not just about ten academia it's not about job it's about everything it's like of course we don't have that same commitment for every single thing but sometimes for things that matter you do you must use that um you must use that like it's just it's really powerful hopefully you will do that but if there's any reflection i we can take one if not then we can continue yeah michael okay uh, 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 uh to reflect about my progress uh, last week uh, I haven't uh, like you say I haven't really completed it uh, at all but uh, I think that was not a point of it at all because uh, I was introduced to a new concept that I, I, I was just uh, I have heard about before but never worked on it but uh, I think I have uh, uh, waste the, the, the audio is very 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 static noise once okay how what about now it's better yeah okay i have been like struggling for uh two days monday and tuesday to configure my sandbox which was a cumbersome process and i've been looking through various uh, tips and solutions on uh, the Stack Overflow or any other website uh, available on the internet. Finally, I think on Tuesday afternoon, I have made, uh, I have uh, work, uh, I have successfully configured the sandbox and started to use it. And by the end of the week, I have, I think, accomplished uh, the opting in uh, process and uh, also I have worked some. Uh, on the minting process and this is all but uh, uh, learning that uh, on on Monday uh, we have been told that uh, without the um, implement without configuring the sandbox we uh, couldn't do this week's challenge but uh, on Tuesday we have uh, heard about the uh, APIs that uh, pure stake provides and learning that uh, I have used the uh, pure stake APIs to work with uh, my tasks that I have accomplished and the sandbox was I think totally a waste of time for me this week thank you okay great yeah I, th I think we said also on Monday that it's just only for timing the sandbox can be instantaneous while the others will just take some time but absolutely good that good reflection and definitely you know congrats for doing it and achieving it just in all whatever it takes by tuesday so that was good um and i think you know these are the type of stories we want to hear so um i think we have one minute one week just you can go on um okay so i just wanted to <laughs> um i think my journey last week on this challenge was very bumpy um monday and tuesday i was i used it um i think i went to the wrong it professional to try and get um a new laptop of mine with linux uh so uh for me wednesdays when i actually started uh the challenge i got sandbox i downloaded sandbox um i did manage to get sandbox working for me i don't think uh it brought issues per se what i noticed i had an issue with was uh trying to connect to the algo algo rand client using uh the the address the algo that address um that did not work for me so um i used the pure stake api um I think uh, I'm really grateful to the uh, the tutors who who helped me because um, I think the many the multiple points at which I was uh, I, I wasn't understanding anything at all. 
Um, so uh, what I did manage to accomplish was just uh, back end um, and uh, to follow, uh, to have like the logic um, all set up. Um, I think that uh, the developer algorand docs are, are very, very useful. Um, I think it just also took me a while to get my head around them because I, I don't, I've never used docs like that. Um, actually, the, the most useful resource for me was like the GitHub, just for me to see how they look in a code environment. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, the, the challenge was, um, I learned so many new things, um, about web three, uh, just like the definition of what it, like a blockchain, uh, the, um, NFTs, the wallets, and even as the other trainees have been walking through the, um, have been working through what they managed to accomplish last week. Uh, I think I was able to understand um, how exactly they were able to accomplish this. It was not so much of a mystery as it has been um, like last week. Uh, so yeah, um, well, there's still a lot left to learn. Um, but I did make a list uh, as per uh, a recommendation of the things that are left to learn. And uh, I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic that when I do come back, it's, it's not going to be so bad. Um, even right now, it's not so bad. I just uh, started late and um, I have not been able to get a front end up. Thank you so much, Wangui. I think that's that's the kind of reflection that I like to hear. And really thank you, Wangui and Michael, for exactly that kind of, you know, this is what we want, um, nothing more. So I just want to say, great. And it's almost always, that's why there are 10 weeks to fail, you know, to repeatedly attempt the same thing, same pattern, to try to achieve something that you haven't done before in one week. And that would give you basically just that would make you stronger and stronger every time and you'd understand what it takes to do something. You know, sometimes you have already a previous experience, great, it will help you. Sometimes you don't at all, but you still do. So awesome and passing, sorry for taking a bit of time, passing um, for a million, a million for hot seats. So thank you so much. All right, thank you. Uh, I think we don't have much time, so I will just call and we'll come up.